Hello, gays and gay lovers. This week, it's all about the guilty pleasure. The Homo University. What's up? Welcome to the second week back here at THU. And like I said in the opening, we're doing guilty pleasures this week. But before we get into that, I want to thank Homerazzi.com for featuring our Thursday Keith last week on their blog. So thank you, Homerazzi, and on to the guilty pleasure. Okay, my first guilty pleasure is a television show. I religiously watch One Life to Live. Now that is the only soap opera that I watch. It's a soap opera here in the United States for those of you who don't know. Love that show. Follow all the storylines. It comes on every day at 2 p.m. I set my DVR and most of the time I'll just wait till like a Saturday or a Sunday and I'll just watch the whole week in one sitting. Guilty pleasure, I love it. The way that I started watching it is because my older sister when she was pregnant with my nephew, she was on bed rest. And this was, my nephew is nine now. <laughs> and so she was on bed rest and we were, I would stay home with her all day cause she was lonely and like everybody else had to work. I was a teenager, I didn't have anything to do. So we would watch One Life to Live and like other soap operas, but One Life to Live was the one that like for some reason I fell in love with. So even after she had the baby, I continued to watch One Life to Live. And nine years later, I'm still watching it and I almost had a heart attack because they're canceling One Life to Live and all my children. But I heard yesterday that they're supposed to be turning it into a web series. So we see how that goes. But. I don't know what I'm going to do if they cancel it and there's no web series or anything. This is nine years of my life. What's going to happen to the characters? Okay, I have another guilty pleasure which has to do with food. I have three guilty pleasures that I'm going to talk about and all three of them are in different categories. So this one is in food and I love to like when I'm watching either a movie or TV or something at home like a late night snack. I get some white cheddar popcorn. It has to be by Smart Food. And I take about four or five kernels of popcorn, put that in my mouth, and then I have bite-sized Snickers, and I bite half of that Snicker. Oh my God, I don't know what it is, but the white cheddar popcorn and Snickers taste so good together. That probably sounds so weird, but it's so good addicted to that. And I have so many like weird food things that I do. Sometimes I just think I'm a pregnant woman trapped in a gay boy's body. <laughs> My third guilty pleasure is kind of gross. I don't even know what category to put this in. If I do not get a pedicure for a while and my toenails grow really long and like not long, really long, but like they grow instead of just clipping them with my fingernail, I like, <laughs> I don't know how to even explain it. I like peel it instead of like clipping. I like find a crack in the edge of the nail and then just like peel it off instead of clipping them. It feels so good. Oh my God, I don't know why. That's so gross and I don't even know why I just told you guys that. But those are my three guilty pleasures. Oof, what are some of your guilty pleasures? Leave comments below and let us know or make a video response. And I can't wait to hear the other guys' guilty pleasures because I feel like I was pretty open. One life to live, white cheddar popcorn and, and sneakers, peeling my toenails. <laughs> Until next week, bye.